Guys and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make these um, cool-looking morphing texts. For example, a text to the same text in another font, or to another text, or to another shape. So first of all, let's begin making a new project. Okay, and I'm um, then making a new comp. Perfect. So then we're going to create a text, obviously, and uh, let's name this banana. Okay, make it black. Perfect. I'm going to center it. Okay, perfect. So let's say we want this text to morph in the same text, but to Comic Sans font, okay? <laughs> so, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this with Command D or I think um, Control D on Windows. So we got two bananas, okay? And we're gonna change the second banana to Comic Sans. Perfect. Um, we're gonna align this again. To the middle the anchor points okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert both of these um, texts to shapes okay create shapes from text which means we get path shapes from every single letter so let's create shapes from text okay perfect um, then do the same a banana to create shapes from text. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna make this invisible. We're gonna set a keyframe at the path property. So we're gonna animate the path property to like change the path. If you know what I mean. So first of all, we're gonna type in path. Okay, perfect. Then we got all these path properties and. Just select every single one. Okay, perfect. Now we got every every path uh, property. And let's set a keyframe. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna do the same at the banana comic sans outlines. Okay. Um. So let's grab the path property again. Okay. Select every single one again. Oh shit. Now we've got keyframes right here. What we're going to do with these keyframes, we're going to copy them with Command C or um, Control C on Windows. So we can um, select every single path here again. Okay, then go to, to, for example, two seconds and just paste it. Okay, so. Let's see how this looks like now. Okay, you can see it kind of looks okay. The only problem is that it's not centered right here. What we're going to do now is um, to improve this a little bit, go to position, set a keyframe here, and set a keyframe here, and we're going to center it at these. Uh, the, that keyframe so it looks like it would just it's just animated in the center so I'll render that out real quick okay perfect I'm gonna do this a little faster okay oops oops okay that was Dumb. Uh, I'll go to every single keyframe, um, pressing U, you get every single keyframe, and I'll select every single one, and so we get a faster animation. Whoop. Okay, perfect. 
this is pretty much how this text to another font animation works. But we can also animate the font, uh, uh, text to another shape, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do now is just delete these. So delete this and get these invisible shapes. Um, <clears throat> so we got this banana right here and we want this to morph into a let's say a triangle okay so i'm gonna i'm pressing uh, alt alt shift and command i think um i'm gonna scale this up <coughs> <laughs> i'm sneezing in every single tutorial this is let's make this um we can also make this no, just make just make it black because path uh, shapes don't include colors, so it doesn't really matter which color. Um, okay, perfect. Now we got this um, poly star and select three points. Center it again. Okay, looks okay, but um, I'll just g uh, go down to the contents, Polystar, Polystar path, right click, convert to busy path, okay, now we got this path with these things, okay, we can adjust it, um, now set a keyframe here, and copy this keyframe, and then <clears throat> we're gonna go to banana again, make it uh, create shapes uh, shapes from path. Then we're gonna do kind of the same as we did before. Select path and select every single one. Okay, perfect. Create a sh key, um, keyframe again, and then go to about one second um, and paste the triangle shape. we're getting this kind of this effect where every single character morphs into this triangle but there's not really another option to do that so um, that's kind of it we can center this again go to position wait you okay ah dang Go to position, press P, um, say keyframe, and say keyframe here, then kind of eyeball center it again. Okay, so it looks like it goes up from the center. Perfect. We can also adjust these keyframes a little bit by pressing F9 or using the motion script or adjusting it in the graph editor where we wanted to wait I'll just do it like this okay perfect so that's it with my today's tutorial see you next time